Hey guys, it's Christy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review of the Stila Magnificent Meadow. Magnificent Meadow? Today I'm doing a review of the Stila Magnificent Meadows Liquid Eyeshadow. This has been something I've wanted to buy for a really long time and I was finally in London doing some shopping at House of Fraser and I came across the Stila counter and seen this and I just had to buy it. They do have nine shades and I had a really hard time choosing between Kitten Karma and Bronze Bell, but I eventually went for Kitten Karma and it was so sparkly, so shimmery whenever I swatched it, so I just had to buy it. And I can't wait today to try it on my eyes, show you guys what it looks like and see how it wears throughout the day. So this was £23. I did get it from House of Fraser. It's pretty pricey, but um, you know, if it works, it's worth it. I have tried using sort of pressed glitter, loose glitter on my eyelids and it just ends up everywhere. You end up with like a big ring of glitter just under your eyes and it's not a very good look. So I'm really excited to try these. I have gone for really sort of dark eyes today because I thought well if I'm going to go glittery I might as well go full drama as if I'm heading on a night out, although I'm not. I actually don't drink so. <laughs> um, so the packaging is really nice. And again, so is the little bottle that comes in. And I will go ahead and swatch it for you on my hand. So there you go. You can see just how blinding that is. So before we jump into the video, don't forget I have a giveaway going on and it is to win one of the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Lit Vaults. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment down below, it can be whatever comment you want, and then go back and like my last two videos. I will have them linked down below just for ease. And good luck. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I will have them down below. I haven't really been active really on social media. I've just been sort of uploading videos to YouTube, but I do want to sort of get into the other social media sites. So I have gone and set up, you know, an Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. So I will have them all linked down below if you just want to follow me on there. So I left my eyelid free. I just have a little bit of concealer on. I use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair and then just a little bit of, a little bit of the shade Pancakes from the Soph Times Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. That is everything I have on my eyes today. So um, if you like these sort of drama eyes, this is what I used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and literally just paint it on. So I've sort of done a weird shape there. I'm going to let it sort of dry down a wee bit and then I'm going to blend out the edges with my eyeshadow brush and sort of blend together the dark eyeshadow with this colour here. But it is just a beautiful rose gold, really, really shimmery um, type of look. Oh, it's really nice. So I'm going to just take it down in here and down under my eye. And that looks a wee bit weird, but I'm just gonna let it dry and then blend it with my fingers. Let's try blending this a little bit. It does sort of blend away quite a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a little brush and try reapplying it and just blending the edge of it with a brush. So I just have a little um, flat little brush here. Just gonna blend it out a wee bit. Yeah, I think it's better with a brush. So the top lids are dry now. I think I need to just be careful about closing my lid while it's still wet. You can see there just that it has left a little line in my crease. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a second layer and try to keep my eyes just open for a little bit. So then what I'm going to do is just get the end of this brush and sort of blend the edge a wee bit. the edge of that blended really really well. I think with keeping my eyelids closed just for a short period of time um, it didn't do the creasing thing that I was talking about before. It doesn't really take that long to dry down so um, just be aware that just not to like sort of open your eyes straight away. Then I'm just going to go ahead and just blend the edge with my eyeshadow. I'm just taking this shade here in the Soph Times Makeup Revolution palette. It is called Rosewood. And I'm just gonna use my little Morphe fluffy brush and just try to blend that edge just a little bit. 
and also mixing in a bit of that black shade there. It is called Nightmare. I actually really like this palette. I did do a review of this palette. I'll just have a link down below if anyone wants to go ahead and watch it. Yeah, that blend is really nice. Isn't it just really, really, oh, it's really eye-catching, really beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. I'm just gonna finish off with some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I'm loving these eyes. They're really, really dramatic. I love the glitteriness of oh, life. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a wear test on these. I will come back in a few hours and I will let you know how they wear. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and do a really good close up. So I'll see you in a few hours. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is now nine hours later. I haven't touched up any of my face whatsoever throughout the day. The only thing I've touched up is my eyeliner. I did go ahead and take out my contacts just because I don't like to wear contacts for a full nine hours. So I did go ahead and take those out and put on my glasses. So I just have a little bit of um, glass markage on my face just there. But I think the eyeshadow has held up really, really well. I will go ahead and give you a close up in a moment but you can just see it is still like really, really vibrant, really, really sparkly, really, really packs a punch. The one thing I will say is that it is just slightly patchy on this left eye here. It's not that it's creased where my eyelid creases, it's just slightly patchy. And it might've been to do with, you know, me layering it. So I will maybe try next time just putting down one layer and seeing how that goes. My right eye has coped a lot better. I haven't had any fallout whatsoever. I have literally no glitter under my eyes or anything. So that's a big change for me from you know my loose uh, glitters or my pressed glitters usually end up everywhere. So I think it's doing really well. I will go ahead and give you a close up now. So this product, I'm really glad I bought it. Um, it was expensive, but I definitely think it's worth the price. And it gets a big thumbs up from me, has massive staying power and really packs a massive punch. So that's it, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Leave a little comment down below of any other videos you would like to see. And don't forget to follow me on all my other social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.